Hi everyone, I'm Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library and today we are reading There's a Dinosaur on the 13th Floor. This story is by Wade Bradford and illustrated by Kevin Hawks and it's part of our collaboration with the Center for Maine Contemporary Art. We are, together with the CMCA, celebrating Maine authors and illustrators and this week we will be celebrating illustrator and author Kevin Hawks who is a wonderful drawer of all the pictures in this, but he also writes his own stories too. Let's see what happens in our story today. Here we go. Someone's walking into a hotel. Welcome to the Shermar Hotel, said the bellhop. You must be Mr. Snore. Let me show you to your room. The sooner the better, said Mr. Snore. I am very oh, sleepy. Here he goes. Where's Mr. Snore? Here you are, said the bellhop. Room 104. Sweet dreams, Mr. Snore. Mr. Snore thanked the bellhop, got ready for bed, crawled under the covers, switched off the light, but as he was about to lay his head upon the pillow, he heard a squeak, 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 a squeaking noise. Oh no, <laughs> hello, front desk. This is Mr. Snore in room 104. Somebody is sleeping on my pillow. Yes. That would be the mouse, said the bellhop. I believe he's had a very long day. So have I, said Mr. Snore, and I do not wish to share my room with a mouse. So the bellhop led Mr. Snore to a room on the second floor. Sleep tight, Mr. Snore. Mr. Snore crawled into bed. He switched off the lights. But just as he was falling asleep, he felt a rush of cold air. <gasps> what was it? <laughs> Mr. Snore called the front desk again. Somebody is hogging all the covers. Oh, that would be the pig, said the bellhop. Shall I bring you another blanket? No, Mr. Snore fumed. I want another room. So the bellhop took Mr. Snore to the third floor, where there were no pigs or no mice to be found. Mr. Snore kicked off his slippers, crawled into bed, and was just about to close his eyes when... Drip, drip, drip. Uh-oh, what is it this time? Drip, drip, drip. Sorry about the leaky ceiling, said the bellhop to Mr. Snore as he marched him past the ocean view on the fourth floor. Oh, no wonder it was leaking. Look was on the floor above. It's a whole floor of ocean animals. <laughs> this time, declared Mr. Snore, I will find my own room. He found one on the fifth floor. Can you see this floor? Do you notice anything about the floor? Hmm, there's something going on over here. What are those? Hmm, uh, I don't think you'll like this room, whispered the bellhop. I don't think you'll like it unless that is, of course, that you're fond of spiders, said Mr. Snore. Quick, said the bellhop, to the elevator. Oh, look, the spiders look very happy though. Quick, to the elevator. How do you feel about bees? Asked the bellhop. The same way I feel about spiders, said Mr. Snore. Please skip the sixth floor. The seventh floor was too hot. And the eighth floor was too cold. The ninth floor was just... Giraffes, <laughs> cried Mr. Snore. <laughs> The bellhop smiled. Would you care to guess what's on the 10th floor? What do you think? 
If the giraffes are down here, what's on the next floor above? Hmm. On the 10th floor, they found hamsters. Wait, where are the rest of the giraffes? Asked Mr. Snore. <laughs> Can you see the giraffes' necks going up? And look all around, there's hamsters doing all kinds of fun things. They're exercising and sleeping. They're reading and playing on the bed. <laughs> that was not what I expected. I don't know about you. Hmm. Where are the rest of the giraffes? On the 11th floor, said the bellhop. Then I will stay on the 12th floor, said Mr. Snore. So they went to the 12th floor. Hey, it's empty. Mm, no one ever stays here, explained the bellhop. Perfect, said Mr. Snore. He lay down and shut his eyes. Uh, it tends to get a bit noisy, the bellhop warned. But Mr. Snore was already asleep. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Gurgle, gurgle, swish, swish, swish. What's that noise? Stomp, 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 gurgle, 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 swish, swish. Mr. Snore rang the front desk. I could not sleep with all of this noise. I'm going to find a room on the 13th floor. Oh dear, oh no, said the bellhop. On the 13th floor? On the 13th floor, there's a click. Mr. Snore hung up. Hmm. Can you remember what's on the 13th floor? Hmm. What might be on the 13th floor? Let's see. Mr. Snore did not wait to hear what the bellhop was warning. He went up to the 13th floor. Hmm. There were no mice, no pigs, no penguins, no snakes, no spiders, no dolphins, no bees, and no giraffes. Not even a hint of a hamster. Nothing but a giant bed and a giant room and a giant pillow. Hmm. I do hope Mr. Snore will be all right, said the bellhop. Ring, 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 went the phone at the front desk of the Sharemore Hotel. Hmm. Who do you think it's going to be? Hello? This is the dinosaur on the 13th floor. Somebody is sleeping on my pillow! The bellhop sighed. Ah, that would be Mr. Snore, he said. He's had a very long day. Look how happily he's sleeping. <laughs> the end. Oh, that poor Mr. Snore finally got to bed. The end. Oh. And look, here's where the dinosaur spent the night. Who else can we see on this page? The dinosaur in his fluffy slippers. Is that a mouse up high? And there's the bellhop with someone on his hat. And look, the snakes around. <laughs> the end. Great listening, everyone. Now today, or this week, when you come to the library, there will be an activity to pick up made by the CMCA. And this week they have made an activity that I will link below. I'll link the tutorial in case you can't come in and pick up the supplies. You can do it at your house. And they are going to come up with a craft to help you create your own idea about what might be on some of the floors in this crazy hotel. <laughs> so enjoy the link below. And if you live nearby, I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.